Super Show for this July month movie preview for the month of July in all your theaters across the country and around the world too. So here's the thing: coming up here in a, I think about it, maybe a week or two is the latest reboot in Hollywood, Ghostbusters. Now I recently now look. There's been a lot of hesitancy. There's a little bit. The, the second trailer was the most disliked movie trailer on YouTube in history. That's really saying something about the movie. The against the people are just against this thing completely. Me personally, I'm going to go see this movie and I'm going to give it a shot. And you should too. And here's why: you can't just judge a movie by saying, "Look, oh, they're just taking Ghostbusters and redoing it with women." Ah, who, who cares? For all you know, this movie could be really good. Not the best, not, not better than Ghostbusters, the original, but it could be good. You don't know that, though, if you don't go see the movie. That's at least my side of it. So give the movie a fair shot, and if you like it, tell the people, hey, it wasn't that bad. Go check it out. I think you would like this. Because that would change the atmosphere around movies getting rebooted and reimagined. Uh, the words that... Paul Fig used was actually reimagined of Ghostbusters. Not re he's not directly rebooting Ghostbusters. Let's face it, the Melissa McCarthy character, a a Abby Yates, I think her name is, the character, she is not a Peter Venkman. Peter Venkman, Ray Stans, Egon Spengler, and Winston Zeddemore are not being touched. Stay Puff Marshmallow Man and Slimer are being reimagined. It's not a it's a, a reboot, yes, of the franchise, but it's not a redirect remake of the original. That's what I think he's trying to do. He's trying just to keep these these two movies separate but still have it as the Ghostbusters. Now, obviously I, I've said that I'm gonna go see it. I will go see it. I'm actually gonna I'm I'm still I'm a little apprehensive. You know, don't don't get me wrong. I, I'm not saying saying yeah I'm all excited for it. No, I actually am excited for it, but I the people's what people have said to me like yeah it sucks it looks terrible but some people have actually given me given me really good reasons why they just don't think it's gonna be good and I, I've taken those into consideration but I'm gonna go give it a fair shot and I'm gonna do a review of it and you guys can see what I have to say about it we don't know what it is yet so we have to wait and see when the movie comes out but that is Ghostbusters coming out on July eighth if I'm not mistaken so July eighth twenty sixteen is Ghostbusters in theaters nationwide. Feel free to leave your hate messages in the comment section below. I'm really kidding. But um, please, l l let me know what you guys think about this. Am I right? Am I wrong? Do you, do you hate this idea of Ghostbusters? Let me know what you guys think. But there's one other movie coming out in July that we are all excited for. And we've been waiting since 2013 for this movie. It is called Star Trek Beyond. I was about to say three for a sec. Star Trek Beyond. This, look, Star Trek 2009. 2009. Unbelievable, a complete reboot of the franchise. They nailed all the characters perfectly. They were written great, they were directed well, and it brought back Star Trek to the popularity that it needed. Star Trek in Darkness was an incredible sequel. Yes, it was a direct remake of Wrath of Khan, but yes, I disagree with that too, because they were just trying to take Wrath of Khan and to adapt it to a modern age. Star Trek Beyond looks like, I, don't, I can't tell what they're doing. All I can say is that the trailer of Star Trek Beyond, the all the trailers I've seen, is that the Enterprise, this is not a spoiler because it's in the trailers, it's just that the Enterprise gets shot apart and it, it goes down, that's what I'm saying. And there's a new Enterprise that leaves. What I'm hesitant and I'm thinking about is actually that the Enterprise, in Star Trek III, the 1984 film, Star Trek III, The Search for Spock, the Enterprise goes down. In the, in the trailer, the Enterprise, you can look it up on YouTube, it goes down, and they get a new ship and they leave. Actually, they take a Klingon vessel and they leave. Wherever they are, right? You see what I'm saying. Star Trek Beyond could be a Star Trek 3, but I don't think they're searching for Spock. Because Spock is still around. And it's just... It, they, they, they did change some stuff to not confuse people with the old stuff. But I think Star Trek Beyond is going to be a massive hit at the box office. Just based on the last trailer. The second trailer to me was a... Per I'm going to use the word perfect. It was a perfect Star Trek trailer for the modern age. I'm not saying it was better than the Wrath of Khan trailer. I'm not saying it was better than, you know, this trailer. I'm just saying, for me at least, it was the most perfect modern age, counting 2009, Interruptors, and beyond, 
modern Star Trek age trailer. It was the best one out of the bunch for me. And I loved every bit of it. It looked like they were in trouble. The, 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 the score was just bombastic. I am going through the roof excitement for Star Trek Beyond. And there will be a review of it for Star Trek Beyond. And the, you hopefully you guys can check that out too. So, yes. But July. Yes, there's other movies coming out in July. Like Secret Life of Pets. Uh, and there's, there's that weird, uh, you know, like, there's, there's other movies kind of draw. But I just wanted to focus on these two in particular. What do you guys think? Which one are you guys most most excited for? Ghostbusters or Star Trek Beyond? Or just, do you have, have apprehensions about Beyond? Do you have do you argue positive react positively reacting to Ghostbusters? Please leave all of your movie thoughts in the comment section below the comment section of this video, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. But for all your movie review uh, movie previews, please keep it locked on the Superview Show, J Man. Off to work. I'll see you later.